Hello, YouTube. Well, I figured we'd get started on a teardown of this Dayton Model 1Z852A battery charger. Uh, I've no idea how old it is. It is UL listed. Uh, it only has two prong cord. This tells me it's an older model. Obviously, it is. It's all metal. And it works. But it needs some help. Uh, as you can see, the switch here is broken off. The wires here are really frayed. Uh, the wire in the back is all frayed. And I, I know they make new battery chargers. But let's face it. They, they just aren't what they used to be. So let's get rid of this wire first which is easier to do with two hands. And we can trim this wire off. Oh, that ain't so bad. All right. Let's get this open. And today we're just gonna get it open. I already took out most of the screws. And that way we can uh, get an idea of what we're gonna do next time. Because we gotta clean things up and You can also tell it's older because it's using flatheads. When's the last time you saw a flathead screw? Okay. How this looks like it's built is two part. Looks like we have a broken wire here. That's interesting. I have to find where that goes. Looks like I had some solder on it. Oh! <laughs> we'll edit that out. Okay. You know, frankly, the way it's coming apart, we're going to have to tear it further apart. There's only a few screws left on the back. Let's pull... Oh, we can't. I need my other tool for that. So, let's just turn it this way and get a bird's eye view of what's going on inside. You know, if we get rid of this switch, Okay, now remember everyone, looks like we have to double check the voltage. But we're going to bend one of these out so we can remember it. And that's the side that's going to the 6 volt side. Okay. We pull this off and set it over here like this. I'll bring you in so you can see what we got going on here. <sighs> okay, what we have is a pretty classic battery charger. Remember the one with the folded out wire we're calling the, well it is the 6 volt side because they did not key the switch here. You notice there's no hole. So what we have is just a simple uh, EI style uh, transformer. We've got a couple rectifiers here, or a couple diodes here. This is a thermal fuse. That's it. No fancy fancy electronics. Nothing crazy. So what we're gonna do? is we're going to replace this cord, the AC cord. You can see how that comes right in. AC power comes straight in here to the switch and then switches to either the 6 volt or 12 volt side of the coil. And they're switching it on the, the main side. This 
is the other side of that AC, and we're going to run our ground probably off to this or here. We'll have to put it in a new terminal for that. Looks like we can unsolder it there if we want. And then we'll run new power leads. And they just had them soldered on. We'll probably steal that same idea. And this is our out. That's all we got to do. Pretty simple. The parts we ordered. Yeah, I know. I went ahead and ordered parts without you. Here's our DMM. The parts I ordered. Red and black wires. Here's an AC power cord. And if you watch the other video that shows where I got it all from All Electronics. Two brand new clips. Now I know I could have used the style that had uh, the rubber covers, but I kind of like this to look the way it should. And what I mean by that is it never had covers on them and nor does nor do I feel it needs them. I'm not saying it's not safety conscious, but just gotta be aware of what you're doing. And here's our new switch, which we can take for a little test run. This is going to be our new switch, which is working this way. They're running the center point, and then I left and right. That's all it is. It's just the same as this, except a little more modern. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a good cleanup. And on our next video, we are going to go ahead and install the new switch right here. And we're going to do some soldering and replacement of some wires. And we'll be all set. Well, I thank you guys for stopping by. And uh, I hope you like, comment, share. And if you have one of these old battery chargers that needs some wiring, don't be afraid to do it. These are classic old battery chargers. And they do so much of a nicer job, in my opinion, than the uh, new electronic stuff. Sure, the new electronic stuff will tell you when your battery is bad, but this will just kind of get you by until you need a new battery. Sometimes it's all about just getting by until you get a new battery. All right. Thank you.